After understanding what Java can offer to the world, this time we need to discuss about Java syntax and also the grammar. Uh, these are the subtopics that we need to we need to discuss on the program itself of Java, the, the statements, identifiers, keywords, literals, data types, um, Java variables, and also the constants. First, we need to discuss about the Java program. Java program is actually a minimum Java program has the following format. So you need to follow this format in creating your Java program. There should be a public class. One moment, let me use um, laser pen here. Okay, so this is a um, public class. Then don't forget your class name. Okay, so again, your class name is very important in creating a Java program. After that, don't forget to have a public static void main. The main here will serve as the main page or the dashboard of your program. So take note of that. We also have the string, args, or the arguments. Okay, then inside the curly braces is our program statement. And also, don't forget the curly and um, the ending curly braces. Don't worry, I will show you an example later on. Okay, this is a sample um, Java program. So we have a public class, then our class name is hello, then open curly brace, then public static void main, open curly brace again, then system that out the print ln hello world. So in um, in displaying or Outputting a text or a variable in your program, we need to use system.out.println or what we call SOP. Okay, so we say println, this is print line. I believe that I already discussed this one in our previous um, subject last year. So hopefully you can still remember that. And don't forget to close the two curly braces. Okay, that's the class name and this is the statement. There we go. Next, we need to discuss about the Java coding guidelines. Java program files must have, uh, must have a same name as public class and end with a, with a Java extension. Don't forget that we need to have .java as a extension. Okay? Next. Use comments for documentation and readability. Okay, we need to use comments so that um, the, um, the programmer who will try to assess or the programmer or me as a teacher who will try to assess um, your program will know what's the purpose of that specific line of code. Next one. White spaces are ignored. Take note that if you will put um, spaces in Java, it will be ignored directly by the IDE. And indent for readability. So we need to use indent just like in your previous um, subject with me. Uh, I keep on mentioning that you need to arrange your codes by putting indention. Okay? That's also for your own good. Don't worry. Okay? So what are Java statements? Java statement, it actually specifies one or more actions to be performed during the execution of a program. We have an example here. System that out that print, this is hello world. And that's a good example of a statement. Let's proceed. Also, if we will talk about blocks or a block statement in Java, um, actually a block is formed by, in, uh, by enclosing statements by curly braces. If there isn't curly brace, that means that this statements are actually a block statement because um, it started with the curly uh, um, opening curly brace, then it will end with the closing curly brace. Okay? Next one, 
let's talk about comments. Just like what um, you can, uh, just like what you can um, see with the presentation earlier, it should be. Uh, it's good if you will put comments in your program or in your line of code, right? So comment is actually an optional statement used to describe what a Java or a line of program is doing. So these are the basic or the three most, um, uh, sorry, the three types of comments in Java. We have the block, com uh, the block comments, the end of line comments, and the Java doc comments. I'll show you an example. This is the end of line comment. This is a black comment. And this is the Java doc comment. Okay, so two slashes, that's for end of line. Uh, we have the one slash with asterisk, then asterisk, then another slash, that's the block comment. So the black comment can, um, can, uh, can make the line of codes comment because of the block comment. We also have um, Java, um, Java doc comment. I will show you an example just like this. This is an example of a Java statement. Uh, we have a class name here. Then um, you can actually put your um, um, first program here, or you can go directly with the Java void or the public static void main as your dashboard or your main dashboard. Then put the hello world here, like this one. Let me show you an example in IntelliJ. One moment. Let me pull up my IntelliJ first before we will proceed. While it's still loading or while it's still trying to pull up, let's proceed directly to Java identifiers. When we say identifiers, it is used to label variables, methods, classes, and etc. And take note, identifiers are case sensitive. Okay? And also, it may contain letters, digits, underscore, and dollar signs. May not start with a digit. So, it's a no-no if you will start with a number. Okay? And also, may use, uh, may not use Java keywords. I will explain later on what are those keywords so that you will not use those keywords as your identifiers. Rules. Let's talk about the rules. Identifiers can use alpha, uh, alphabetical characters or alphabetic characters of either case A, small letter A to Z, and capital letter A to Z, numbers 0 to 9, underscores, and dollar signs. Identifiers cannot start with a number, just like what I said earlier. Next, keywords cannot be used as identifiers. For this reason, keywords are sometimes called a reserve words. Okay? So let me show you a, an example um, of a Java statement. Uh, since I already created something like this, uh, I think it's better if I will create another project. One moment. Okay. Sorry. Let me pull up that one. Okay, we're still still. We need to use the um, the Java JDK. That one. Then, if you have a library, that's good. But for now, I just need to click next. Okay, that one. Take this one. Next, then for example, first program Java. There you go. Take note of your base package. Your base package, it's com.company. Okay. There you go. Um, new window. Okay. So, actually, I can just close this. Okay, there you go. 
So on the left side, you can see your project. And here in the middle, also on the right side, um, you can see right now your, um, your dashboard on which you can type your codes. So for example, of course, just like what I said earlier, make sure that you're using your Java for your class name. But for this one, let me try to create uh, so that you will know. Um, I'll just need to delete that one, uh, this one, so that one moment. Then after that, let me try to create a new file. So go to file, file, then new. One moment. Mm -hmm. Java class, this one. We already created a project, which is the first Java program. This time, we need to create a Java class. So for example, my class name is Hello World. So for the class name, by the way, class, you can put spaces, but in creating your identifier, um, it's not allowed. You need to use underscore. Okay, then hit enter. Oh. So we really need to put underscore. Sorry. Okay. So right now, since we're able to create our first class, which is hello underscore world, we need to, of course, use our main, right? In IntelliJ, it's really good because if you will just only put main like that, wait for it, uh -huh, main, I um, mean, if you will hit enter, there. So no need for you to type in public static void name, then string, this one, then args. All you need to do is just to put main. After putting main, this time, we need to put the system dot out dot print ln. Then you can just put hello world. And don't forget to put the semicolon. Um, if you can see, you can see something like this. Uh, here, oh, na I read na curly because a meaning ana after na malik. So put the semicolon. After putting a semicolon, this time we will try to run it. So how can we run it? So you can just actually right click and run, or you can just simply click this one. After clicking that, you can see that the build here it will run. Let's wait for this one to be built. After building it, um, the run or the run window will pop up. There you go. Oh, could not find or load main class. Let me try again. One moment. This one. Let's see. Okay. There you go. It's working. 